Whether surface dressing or tack coating on a road, it is most important in applying bitumen emulsion that we achieve a uniform and correct rate of application throughout. For this purpose, all of the Colchon sprayers are calibrated on at least an annual basis. The calibration initially involves checking the distribution of the individual jets on the spray bar. These are checked to make certain that there are no visible defects on any of the jets. The spray bar is then positioned across a slotted tray at a specific bar height and again the pump will be set to operate at a particular pressure range. The purpose of this test is to allow an accurate evaluation of the spray rate transversely across the bar. It's most important that we achieve that spray rate with very tight tolerances in order to achieve good work on the road. This test is carried out either for slotted jet bars or for the swirl jet bars. The technician carrying out the test will check the depths of the emulsion in the individual slots in the tray, calculate the mean and establish the deviation from the mean for each section of the tray. It's most important that we can keep these within a very, very tight tolerance, again the purpose being to achieve a uniform, correct rate of application of bitumen emulsion onto the road. Having satisfied ourselves that the transverse distribution across the bar is correct and within tolerance, it is now time to carry out a volumetric check on the discharge rate of the sprayer. The pump is engaged as is the computer monitoring unit and the sprayer sprays then for a period of six minutes into a bay. Subsequently the sprayer will be reweighed so that we can then check the weight sprayed against the volume indicated on the computer monitoring unit. The RDS unit on the truck is also checked at this time to ensure that we are measuring our distances correctly. The calibration chart is unique to the individual vehicle and must be up to date. A calibration chart has a life of 12 months. In the event that the sprayer appears to be outside calibration, it must be retested and the entire exercise repeated. All sprayers should be carrying a calibration chart for the customer's use and reference. These charts will state the temperature, pressure and bar height at which the machine is operating and at which the machine must operate.